Hello humans. Today I am doing yet another art chat. I'm trying to record a lot of my paintings for posterity. Mostly I'm going to stick to the ones I like, but there's going to be a few like this one that are getting ditched. This one is going on the bonfire. I am done with it. It's not something I enjoy, but I thought, you know, let's let's just record it for for the fact that it existed and I spent three and a half weeks of my life painting this crap. So, here you have the biggest piece I have ever done. Sense of scale. It's big. Carrying this canvas home was not fun. In fact, I did so twice because this is the second attempt. <sighs> yeah, not only did I, did I traumatise myself doing this once, I did it twice because the first time the outline was great. It was better than this one. It it was spot on, the outlining. And then I went hideously, hideously wrong and I kept trying to fix it and it was not happening and eventually it went on the bonfire. So I went to town, I went and bought another one of these on a nice windy day just to make it really difficult to carry home. And yeah, had another go and I am not pleased with how it went, unfortunately. The idea was basically fearless vampire killers, you know, hence logo. Um, reimagined as Pokemon. So you have Shane, Lawrence, Luke, Drew, and, and um, the annoying Pidgey, who I'm, I'm sitting here blocking because I am petty and childish that way. Now, seriously, whatever happened with the band, that's their own business. Um, but a certain person always grated on my nerves, so whatever. Anyway, um, what's wrong with this one? I mean, I'm getting rid of it partly because the canvas has been ripped through at some point. Um, there, there's, I mean, it's cruddy and ugh, but you know, could be cleaned off. But I'm just, I'm not happy with it. The idea itself was okay, I guess, but I'm, I'm just, there's, there's so many little bits that I'm just not happy with, and I've been back and I've reworked and. You know, it was on my wall for like a year and a half. I mean, I don't know what date this is. I've managed to not date it on the back, which I usually do. Um, but it was on the wall for ages before I noticed that I'd done Lawrence's makeup wrong. I mean, it's one of the few things that's actually got detail on this canvas. You see that? Not a lot of detail. Got the uh, Sophie Lancaster charity wristbands. Um, you know, all the little personal details, like you know it's Shane because he's got his goggles and he's got his um, detail on his guitar. The only bit I'm really happy with with this was um, the choice of Pokemon for Luke. Because, you know, such a ray of sunshine in it all. And even kind of beardy. I, I can't aim and look and, yeah, me and coordination, not a thing. Um, there is some sort of tones and stuff but otherwise it's really flat and cartoony which is something that I paint a fair bit or have painted a fair bit um I don't even know why I kind of aim over there but part of it is when I was a kid I was watching a BBC2 documentary series or whatever on underbelly art and culture and I decided to do part of that for my GCSE art and art and design, whatever it was, and my teacher, yeah, she she didn't believe that such a thing existed, so she basically she called me a liar in front of the class. So naturally, I proved her wrong. <laughs> yeah, she hated me, but you know I hated her, so you know whatever. She was an idiot. She thought you could only have one colour of mortar between bricks, and bricks only come in one colour. Like like. She's never walked down a road and looked at houses and how many different shades and tones and brick types there are, you know, whatever. My dad's a builder, you know, I kind of kind of have an idea of some of these things, but, you know, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I, I've ended up going with black outlining and stuff in quite a few of my, my bits, but this one... It, it just doesn't do anything for me. And I painted it specifically to go on a big wall in my living room 
to, to take up that space and there isn't room for it in the new house and I'm not, as I said, I'm not, not taken with it. So it's going. Hasta la vista. I'm probably going to cut this, this out because I do like this part and I'm hoping it might be possible to repurpose it somehow. I don't know what, but you know, collage or something else. I, I just, you know, that, that's the only bit of it that's, that's potentially salvageable, so we shall see. Can't get it right all the time, part of the learning process. And most of the paintings I'm going to talk you through are going to be the ones I was happy with. But there's plenty like this that, yeah, yeah, and, and a good few that never got finished because I started something and went, nope, nope, nobody's ever seen that. And I had enough trouble paint it, painting and posting and showing people stuff I've done without, without, the, without the duds, without the ones that I'm not, not pleased with. I mean... This is vaguely what I intended for it to be. I, I, I'll just shift so you can see the uh, annoying Pidgey. Um, yeah, not pleased with this one. I can't even remember if it had a particular name. Might have done. Don't know. Don't care. Whatever. <laughs> Laters.